Vampire Survivors. I have not played this game before. I know of it. I've seen people play it. I don't have a start button, sir. Uh, press to start. All right. All I know is that, well, I mean, it's a relatively simple game. Um, I guess there are people to unlock in 10 percent already, 10 levels, max 50%. And you mostly are going around. And as far as I understand, all of the every all the attacks are automatic. There we go. Um, fires at latest enemy, high damage, area scaling, quickly in the face direction. So it looks like my main attack is based on where I am facing. These little blue orbs are my XP. That bar at the top shows you how close I am to leveling up. When you level up, you get one of those thingies. I have a health bar, it looks like, that's under me. Uh, I didn't reach that many rounds. And I think you can level up uh, the weapons. Um, if you get like a level two version of things. And yeah, this is basically it, I believe. It's a lot of moving around. I think there are multiple levels. Um, up. Yep, as you level up, you get more. And I don't. I actually don't know if the levels themselves are infinite. Um, they might just be more in the um, ooh, super bad. Um, just large enough to where you're not gonna. go 10% finals one more projectile oh that's my whip huh so does this go both ways okay it goes both ways now oh, that's useful so all mostly what I know is that people love this game it's very simple and Excited to see if I enjoy this. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many bats? Right, there's a lot of kiting around enemies. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So yeah, there's the, the six boxes that are kind of like by my character up there, or the different things. I, I think there's a max of how many weird upgrade-y things you can get, I think. Um, oh gosh, it's a tree. No one told me you couldn't go through trees. seems a relatively like not a lot to think about with this game I think just enjoyable Wait for mine there we go oh they shooting things at me now um I'm super excited because Nope came out on Peacock today and I have not watched that movie and I'm very excited to eventually watch that movie don't know when it'll happen very excited about the prospect of doing that. 
Uh, face direction. Looks like the spinach went in a different row than the other ones. Um, but I did watch a movie I had never even heard about um, until maybe yesterday. Um, it was called Solace. I It had Anthony Hopkins and I believe... <laughs> Colin Farrell was in the poster. I actually couldn't have told you that. Um, and when he shows up in the movie, I was actually surprised because I wasn't really paying attention to who was in the movie. Um, so, and it's got Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I think is the name, Jeffrey Morgan Dean. I can't remember. Comedian. The com he plays a comedian in um, Watchmen. Um, and he's in Watching, w watching Dead. Walking Dead. Um someone relatively important I think base damage cooldown orbits around the character I like that more damage more damage more damage there we go and so you know I and it seemed like a one of your traditional like murder mystery ish uh oh it's not good Catching a serial killer. Jeffrey Dean Morgan works for the FBI. He's got a pretty partner. Um, I'm sure this will work out fine for me. I think there is help at some point. I don't know where it is necessarily. Oh, where's that pointing at me at too? the monies um so there's a serial killer like uh base damage um oh geez um fires one point projectile um and jeffrey dean morgan and his partner go and see anthony hopkins who I guess Jeffrey Dean Morgan had worked with in the past. He is a psychic um, who has helped with FBI cases and apparently a legitimate psychic. Uh, you get several moments of Anthony Hopkins touching someone or seeing visions and stuff like that. Um, so it seems like he is, you know, as legitimately a psychic as I guess you can get um, in this world. Passes through two more enemies. And so uh, they try to enlist him and help. He's obviously reluctant, but um, shows up to help. Uh, Anthony Hopkins believes that the serial killer is actually a psychic himself, like Anthony Hopkins, but better. Um, and so he's worried about this because clearly he knows more than Anthony Hopkins. And it ends up being kind of this like psych battle of psychics. Um, as they're trying to save people, um, Anthony Hopkins has had um, visions that his friends are going to die. The, the Jeffrey Dean Morgan and uh, his partner, and so obviously he's worried about their safety. Um, Anthony Hopkins has lost a daughter to leukemia, which ruined his marriage, um, and so ooh, chicken. Oh boy. Um, it It's weird because I started watching the movie and I was like, this movie is terrible. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but like, and I, I'm not a film nerd by any stretch. Um, like, not even close. Um, you know, I watch movies. That is my history with movies and movie making. But something feels very off from the very beginning. Like it almost feels like a like 
a indie movie or like like it's it's incredibly strange to me um like the ADR, which is like the replaced dialogue, sounds terrible. Like the mix is bad. Sometimes the audio just feels off. Like, like the sound levels aren't correct for the scene. There's a scene in particular where they're getting, like Anthony Hopkins, Jeffrey Dean Morgan are getting food, and it is just it. Like they're in the rain for some reason. I don't know if this was designed or not, but it just sounds awful. Um, Oh no! Too much damage. Game over. Quit. Um, all right. And we go again. Um, I think I have to like save these people in the map. But, um, so they are trying to chase this, this bad guy and then they find out that the, I think this is being able to hit both sides of you is super important. Each of the victims were terminally ill, even if they didn't know it necessarily, because uh, the detectives were having a hard time trying to figure out what the connection was between everybody. Um, and so they find out that, that that was the case. That was the connection between all of them. They were all going to die potentially horrible deaths. Uh, not unlike Anthony Hopkins' daughter, Dying to leukemia. High damage, area scaling. I feel like... Um, and so... Our heroes are, you know, race against the clock to try to get the killer before he strikes again. Um, Anthony Hopkins has like trouble reconciling what's going on. Um, at some point in the movie, I will say that like it, it kind of won me over a little bit. Um, and I got quite invested in like this battle of wits or battle of psychics. Um, I thought it was pretty well done. And I, I mean, Anthony Hopkins is pretty good. He's a pretty good actor. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but uh, kind of good at doing his thing. And so it was it was nice to see him. And then Colin Farrell shows up as the other psychic, uh, kind of like near the end of the movie, um, which I, I honestly, I, I couldn't believe. One, I think this movie was originally made in 2014 but didn't actually come out until 2016 i think if i remember correctly um it's like kind of one of those i feel like one of those weird movies that got kind of like sent up in development hell for a while and then they just they weren't quite sure what to do with it um and <laughs> reading about it turns out it was supposed to be a sequel to uh, seven. That was kind of its original idea. Um, I, I again, I don't know exactly how much was changed since then. Um, generates damaging zones. I don't know what that is actually. Um, but like, you get the sense like that's the kind of movie they wanted to make um like watching it um because it seems very clearly like trying to pull from that like there is a mystical aspect of it that is a little odd um because like the psychics obviously there's no like seven is very grounded movie it doesn't have anything about this um oh more experience And 
And so there's obviously some stuff with that going on, but like it, it is like surprisingly well done. I, I don't know if I particularly like the ending of the movie, you know, work like Anthony Hopkins character has been getting these visions the entire time um, about his friends dying. And so, you know, he's kind of like trying to save them and uh, bag of money. And he kind of runs into a, like these visions that he, you know, he himself talking about, like he doesn't really know all the time what his visions mean. He just knows that they are there um, and they're, they're kind of open to interpretation um, and to what the actual meaning is. Uh, da, 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 King Bible. And so he starts like all the visions that you've been seeing through most of the movie which obviously are rather confusing, um, start to make sense. And as it kind of like goes towards the climax, like all of these things that like, and like, I guess like Colin Farrell's character not only knows like the future psychically, but like he can tell like what Anthony Hopkins character understands about it, I guess. Um, Cause there's like, as things are happening, he's kind of like, oh, yeah, you're, you're finally getting it. You're finally understanding. And, like, as, like, certain pieces are starting to connect with him, um, he's getting excited because, you know, Anthony Hopkins is seeing, um, like, his plan. Um, which is interesting. The plan itself and, like, his whole thing ends up being... I would say not quite as there, there's something there. Um, this kind of like notion that Colin Farrell is easing the pain of these people, you know, um, these people who are uh, going to die anyway. And he's like, Hey, look, I can make their lives better. They would be thanking me if they, if they knew exactly. Right. Like this, this, this is a service I'm providing them, you know, and he wants, um, our boy, uh, Anthony Hopkins, you know, the older gentleman to continue on his, his journey, his path, the thing that he's been doing, um, which feels odd, <laughs> um, feels like the older psychic who's not as good wouldn't be as good at this, you know? murdering terminally ill patients even though the people don't necessarily know that they are terminally ill uh, more XP um, and so I would say the ending maybe not my favorite thing in the world there's also the implication that um I mean, not implication. I feel like it's the ending of the movie that Anthony Hopkins' character basically kills his daughter out of kind, you know, out, out of like trying to end her suffering, right? Um, he basically like injects her with something that kills her very quickly because she's in pain because of her leukemia, um, and you know, Anthony Hopkins doesn't want her to be in pain, and so um, kills her. I'll get all. Get, I'll, pretty okay like not terrible ideas i but like that thing in particular comes at you max health by 20 percent um that comes at you like like it's almost like a post credit sequence of like i bet you didn't know i honestly have no idea what this gold is for i i wonder if i can buy things with it. i've really been paying attention um Wow, that seems like a lot of stuff. Seems like a good chest. Uh, okay. I'm not 100% sure what happened there. It seemed like it was good for me. Oh my gosh. This seems bad for me. Oh, this seems very bad for me. Um, 
Um, so honestly, I started looking online as I do when I watch something. Cause I, again, I had never even heard of this movie. Like it was not even under my radar. And like, that seemed odd to me. Like, how did I miss this movie? Um, and people are not kind to this movie. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, down there. And you know, like I, oh my gosh, that's a bad idea. Um, like I would definitely say it's not a, like, it's not a great movie. Oh, turkey. Like, it's definitely, like, a weird... Okay. Um, one of those... Oh my gosh, two chests. Um, like, murder, mystery, like, whodunit things. I thought it was weird that, like, Colin Farrell just shows up at the very end, because they kind of show, like, in... Um, oh, it's a lot of Bibles. Um... Anthony Hopkins' um, visions, they show kind of, quote unquote, the killer a little bit. Um, and I mean, it is very much not um, Colin Farrell in the very beginning. It's just kind of like generic dude. Um, I can really get that turkey. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Attention, giant bat. Um, I guess that I need health, and for for max health to actually help me. Always going forward, never back. the money matters if you like finish the level because I think every level lasts around 30 minutes is my understanding um. oh, gosh. chicken oh good I don't want to use things need to disappear. Okay, I just walked their own. Goodness, we've been wide, wide. It's been a pleasure serving with you. Uh, four unlocks. New achievement. Find four chickens. Get King Bible. Oh, okay. So I'm unlocking. I'm unlocking things. Oh, power up. Oh, okay, there's my money. Okay. Recovers per rank per second. Okay, these all cost money. Is that the unlocks? Unlock seven. Collection? Okay. Reduces. Okay. I feel like move speed would be good. Uh, I feel like that would be important. Okay. Right. Let's 
try one more. Do I feel faster? Most certainly not. Ah. magnetic thing a little bit at least. Garlic seems good. No longer afraid. Um. High area scaling. Um, so I saw it on like Amazon Prime. I oddly recommend it. I don't know. It's it's a weird a weird movie um again it feels cheap in some ways and i don't i actually i i honestly couldn't tell you why other than the, the sound thing that i mentioned before um because again i am not a you know filmmaker small bats. Oh, maybe those ones too. This garlic seems pretty good. Down with the garlic. I wonder if this will come out on Switch. Feels like a perfect um, Switch game, honestly. Yeah. I think anything that allows you to stay close to enemies to collect the orb seems like pretty good. them too. Hmm. Survey says garlic's pretty good. Oh, 
always go for experience buffs. Everybody knows that. keep wanting to hit a button as I'm getting close to things. I don't know what that clover did. Hmm. Wings? I wonder if getting, like, selecting an item makes it more likely you will get an upgrade for it later. Say the music is adequate. Yeah, I really feel like I need an upgrade to this garlic for it to keep. Um, keep up its little take here. I think I got around 10 minutes last time. Hey, that's my favorite. Oh gosh, those things are not bats. bat to a bat party. Okay, I'm not quite done because I paused everything. King Bible. surprised by the lack of um, I didn't get that many coins that time huh um, they don't seem to have uh, enemies that would projectile weapons yet 28 gold that seemed like a lot um, all right vampire survivors I I get it that I could just keep going um, but I won't not right now I had other things to do vampire survivors I'll probably come back to this I think Seems like a fun, like, ah, play it for 30 minutes or so and keep on going. We'll see. <laughs> 